My name is Bob Wurzeka. I'm from Holding Ford, Minnesota. Um, born and raised there. Got introduced to hunting through in South Africa and Africa through Safari Club International. Uh, shot elephants so far, Kim's buck, kudu, uh, plains game animals. And today we're out hunting uh, Leo the lion. We'll see how that's going to go and it should be interesting. Uh, Seen some signs of them last night. They seem to be there. Haven't heard them roaring at all, but we'll find them this morning and away we go. Hello, I'm Mark Dorn. I'm here in South Africa, uh, ready to hunt a lion. I was uh, in Africa about six years ago in Zimbabwe and killed a uh, impala, wildebeest, and uh, a kudu and uh, here today to try to get a lion. I'm Doug Marstein from Holding Ford, Minnesota. I came to Africa for an adventure and uh, hunt a lion. Well, I'm Ronald Segura. Uh, just our first day hunting, or first evening of hunting actually. We sighted rifles this afternoon and uh, traveled us about seven hours to, from the airport just to get here to camp. And I'm here for a lion, a male lion. And uh, if I find a really good kudu, I'm going to try to take that. And, and then we'll see what goes from there if we find anything. Or maybe we'll have to make some exceptions, you know, how that goes. So I'll be flexible, I guess, is the key. And, and uh, we'll, we'll see what we can come up with. It's great to be here. It's a huge, big, big like that, huge thing. But we just want to check it, see if it crossed another road. We want to leave it. It's getting a little bit dark. We're struggling to see the track, and you know, if we if we get lucky and we get run into it and we shoot it, it's going to be dark when you take a picture. Yeah, especially with the pictures, oh, because yeah. that's the main thing now. So we have sure. we have time. Let's not um, let's give it some time to make new tracks for us. These tracks are also they circling around all the time. So we want to, and it's getting late also. So we'll, yeah, we'll come back in yeah, the morning. Yeah, yeah we'll uh, drive some roads tomorrow and, and get a, a fresher track. Okay. I think I think that's a better call. We are rushing it now, and it shouldn't be a rush. You know, we're just going to make a bad shot, and then sure. Just get in the road and check what. Because we are running, we're running out of time for the pictures, and we want to take good pictures. We don't want to sit, you know, at uh, night at the picture. Hi, Ron. Um, your first day in Africa. 
Um, we are here in the south of the Kalahari, South Africa. Um, we got it here a little bit late, later than we wanted to. Um, got out, got some fresh lion trucks just now. We're walking on it a little bit. Um, didn't get anything with Mark. And then uh, the landowner of this concession said that there's a really big kudu bull that hangs around this, this water pond here. And I know you want, you want a really big kudu, so I thought, you know, let's, let's have a look. Let's just go and have a look. But unfortunately, um, he was not here. But this is our first evening, so. Yeah. Not here today, maybe tomorrow. Yes, yeah, tomorrow, yeah. It's gorgeous. The temperature is awesome. It's like it should be at home. Just under the chin, right in there. Perfect, perfect shot. That's about 30 yards. Really? Yeah, he's, I don't think it's 25, probably 20 yards. And you see, you don't see them. You just saw the, the top of the head sticking out. I can see them through the yes, yeah. I had to the nose. Yeah, luckily he stood up. I had to bring it to the nose in the brush. Yes. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that. That's it. The blood in the lungs. You were breathing quite hard for a while there, huh? Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. I don't know what you did, but huh? <laughs> I don't know how you did that. This is our third time together, if I'm not mistaken. Third or fourth, yes. Fourth, yeah. Um, and we in the Kalahari, South Africa, hunting lion. Um, got this really beautiful mail this morning. Uh, just a privilege to, to be hunting with you again. And I'm... Um, had a really good good start to the to the trip. I mean, this is our first day. Um, still early in the morning. We got quite lucky, and uh, yeah, I mean, just made a good shot on him as well. Well, thank you. Uh, pretty exciting hunt. Uh, your heart really starts to thump when you're facing that line at 30 yards or closer. And, 25 uh, yards, yes. 35, and uh. and it, you know, we shot him through that bush over there, and he really was hard to see. Um, I had a Pretty much put the crosshairs on his nose and fire. Yeah. And then we still didn't kill him yet. We still had to come around and from the backside and take another off. shot. Yeah. yeah. You see, but, we were lucky in that sense. The sun was behind us, so the sun was right on him, but he was still in that brush. It was quite difficult to see him, like you say. He didn't know which way to go, whether to charge or to turn and run. So it was. Yeah. It was pretty good. exciting. It would have been really quick if he would have charged us. Yeah. Here. No. But luckily, you've got your 375 H&H here. Um, which put him down right on the spot. Right. Um, I mean, if you looked in a tree there, I mean, you can see all the mane in that thorn tree after your first shot. That shock just put a lot of mane in that tree. I bought, I bought this rifle to shoot uh, Kodiak bear and uh, grizzly bear, and uh, I never got this close to a dangerous big game animal. Yeah. 
except for the elephant yeah, and the Cape Buffalo. Yeah. But this was really exciting. It, yeah. uh, it looked like he was going to have us for lunch for a minute there. <laughs> he was hungry. He's a little bit skinny. You can see he's not eating in a while. So, well, congratulations. Beautiful lion and good shooting. Thank you again. Day two, flying hunting in Kalahari in South Africa. Um, we got one lion already. We just yesterday we couldn't manage to find another one. Uh, beautiful morning, crisp, clear skies, cold, a little bit cold. So hopefully we can go out today, find some new tracks, uh, and get the job done. I think today is probably going to be Ronnie going out first. Uh, hopefully we can get it quickly done this morning. Second morning, we're going out. Uh, got a fresh line truck here. I'm gonna take Ron and see if he can can manage to get a lion. We'll get you in position. We'll put the sticks up. We'll have a look at him. But don't just shoot. Wait for the cameraman and wait for me to tell you. Okay, we are right, and then you shoot. And then when you are ready, on your after we've set, you can shoot. Then you take your time, take a deep breath, and put the bullet in the right place. Uh, that was quite exciting. Um, <laughs> we almost stepped on him. <laughs> you know, poor Pete got probably five yards from the line before he jumped up. So in this tall grass, you can't see him. <laughs> are, you, are your pants okay? I could take a stab before. <laughs> <laughs> So it's middle of the day. We've been on this lion's track for the whole morning. Um, it just keeps slipping us, slipping us, slipping us. So it, we cleared the block here and we are going to go into it now. It's not out of this block, so hopefully we can get it. Um, Ron is panting like a steam train behind me. <laughs> so hopefully by now it's quite hot. I think it's about what, 85 at least. Um, by now, I think the lion is lying under a bush and we might get close to it. It's been, it's been fun, uh, trying to keep uh, stuffing ahead of me, and, but uh, it's working. He's, he's, he's there on the track, and, and I think eventually we'll wear him down and catch up on him. So uh, looking forward to putting an end to this uh, track. If not, we'll do it over again. Yeah. 
Sorry for that. That's uh, okay, so you see, it is right behind those bushes. Good. Reload. 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 Shoot him again if you can. Keep it on. Good shot. Difficult. Yeah, just keep it on him. Don't. Let's just give him a minute or two to die. You must never admire your shot. After you have fired, immediately reload. Oh. Because if that thing gets up there and comes this way, you need to be able to shoot. Now, if you have nothing in the chamber, then it's a wet pant. Mm -hmm. You can Lion. Thanks. Thanks. Congratulations, Thank you, you lion killer. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> you worked hard for this Definitely. one. I'm pretty sure that's your first shot. Remember, you know, we saw that V, this broken stick here, yeah. and you had to put it right in there. Yeah, and I dropped it down yes. about that much. Yes. I'm pretty sure that's him. That's the shot. Beautiful lion. Yeah. Again, it's always it's difficult. You know, they don't stand in the open or in the sun. It's always in stuff, thick stuff, shade, sticks in between you and them. So you have to, you know, you, and you listened quite well. You know, we said, look at the broken stick, go down the V and put it in there. I mean, that was... But I, I, I couldn't understand how far down to go in the V because, yeah. you know, the V was ended there and yeah. I knew I had to go below that about yeah. that much. And yeah. that's what was I just... Yes. That's exactly what you did. And that's why you have a big lion male lying right here. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, that was excellent. Thank you. Thank a lot you. of thank good work. Thank you. <laughs> and you worked your butt off for this one. <laughs> we did a bunch of miles today. We sure did. Yeah. Well, Ron, after some miles and miles on foot tracking this thing, getting in front of us again, getting up, running away, chasing it a little bit on foot, um, finally you got your, your lion. Um, I think it was about four or five hours tracking it. Tracker Pete and Sam did excellent. Um, some places it was quite hard to follow a track and you know, the sand was a little bit hard. Um, but eventually, in the middle of a day, in the heat of the day, the lion decided he's hot and he's gonna wait a little bit. And we got close and you could make a perfect shot at 30 yards. Did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it. Appreciate it. it. We started early this morning, just after a good light, and yeah. uh, found cut some tracks, and and finally stopped where we thought might be a good place to start tracking. And we didn't go in about 200 yards, and and uh, all of a sudden he growled and jumped up at, at about 10 yards, mm -hmm. less than 10 yards, I guess. And but then instead of staying, he uh, decided to leave, and uh, we kept after him, kept after him, kept after him, and and. Uh, Everybody was looking. The trackers did a tremendous job on it. Uh, Stefan uh, didn't run away on me totally. So <laughs> <laughs> He's a little bit taller than I am, got a little bit longer legs, not that much, but <laughs> a couple of feet probably. probably. But it was, uh, it was uh, a hunt of a lifetime, I guess, uh, yeah, you could say, and, and definitely, definitely is. I never thought I would be here in Africa on safari hunting. Uh, uh, if it wasn't for Bob Rezeka, this uh, would have never came together. So I, I, th I thank him. I appreciate that. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, Stefan and his crew here, Phil and uh, um, and our guides and Freddie, uh, they all, everybody yeah. did a tremendous job, and we, we, nobody gave up on it. And and, and finally, uh, <laughs> the, we were check, going up further to check where some tracks were. We kind of lost the track, and and all of a sudden they spotted him uh, at about 30, 40 yards yeah. and, and uh, 
And we were you had to make a difficult <laughs> shot through brush. <laughs> made, made a tough shot. I, I had a hard time seeing, uh, but uh, we just took a lot of time with the shot, and, and uh, he, did, he, he was wore down that much that he didn't want to get up anymore. Uh, I guess he, I mean, he, I don't think he knew we were there. If he would have known we were there, yeah, he, he would have yeah. been gone. Nope. Yeah, and. Uh, um, but but yeah, I appreciate it all and uh, thank the good Lord for sending this beautiful animal in this beautiful part of the world uh, for allowing us to visit it and our families uh, back home that are supporting us out here. So we've got uh, Doug uh, Marstein here from Holding Ford, uh, Mark Duran from uh, St. Stephen Sartell area, and of course Bob Rezeka. So I appreciate uh, everybody there too. If Mark went and told me to go and uh, hunt this morning, I wouldn't have got this animal either. So thank you, Mark. I don't know what else to say. It Congratulations. Awesome. No. Thank you. It was a great hunt. It was. And you did really yeah. well. Thank you. Yeah. Thankful. New day, day four uh, hunting. I guess we hunted one evening and two days, full days already. Day four is uh, bad news for the lions. Looking forward to it. Anticipating the day, you know. All my projects are going good and hopefully uh, we get a couple of lions. And day three. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah. Day three and a half. the sticks, the shooting sticks, will go open. And you just put the gun on the shooting sticks. I'll make sure that the gun is on, uh, ready to fire. And you just look through your scope, and I'll explain to you which side of the head is lying and what is the situation there. Okay, okay and then when, when you are ready and we see, you see the chest area that you need to shoot, then you pull the trigger. Okay? Okay. Okay, so when, as soon as the sticks go up, immediately put the gun on the sticks. Okay? Gotcha. He's coming, he's coming. Right. Right. He's coming. When you're ready, shoot her. Reload, reload, reload! Okay. I can see the heat. Can you see the heat? Yeah. Just shoot her again. Shoot. <laughs> Reload. Let the head turn. She's going to come at us now. Be ready to shoot. Just to the left of the tree. Put it in there. Yes. Okay. Good. That's what we wanted. Not the tree, not the soil. <laughs> the lion. <laughs> come here. Okay, reload. Okay. Is there still a bullet in there? Slowly, slowly. No. Okay. Did you fire that many rounds already? <laughs> yes, okay. I did. Okay, just wait. Slowly go back. Freddy, put your hand on your hand. Okay, one bullet. Okay. Put it, finger off the trigger. Okay, walk with me. Come here. Come here. Come, follow me. It's 
Is she still alive? Is it? Wat hem nog eens goed kiet? Ja, nee, ze is moord. Ja, nee, ze is moord. Nee, ze is dead. Oké, let je staan hier. Dus, ja. Oké, je is, je is wait. She's still just, I think that was a neck shot, this, this last one. Thanks, Rudy. Well, Doug, um, this is day three, well, three and a half, actually. Yep. Um, and we've been trying to get this female We've seen her tracks and she's between, Since. there's a bunch of other males here and we've uh, came across some males and we could just never could see this female. And actually last night we talked about, we've seen some males, but we have not seen a female once. And then going out this morning, beautiful morning again. Um, and we just got lucky. I mean, we saw her, I don't know if it was here or the, the next one, but also the one of these, these open areas. And it was chaos, you know, got off and got on the track and, you know, she got away from us and we had to go around the block again, pick up a track and saw a couple of times more. And eventually, you know, it's, what is it now? It's 10.30. You know, we were able to get uh, you in position and um, you took a frontal shot. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I mean, that 375 really, really yep. uh, made a stop in her tracks. Yeah, we saw, saw our tracks day one already and uh... Just kept seeing tracks and all of a sudden we'd find a male and, you know, but she eluded us for three, yep. three and a half days. Yep. Uh, how old do you think a lion like this is? Um, she's probably about a five to seven year old. Prime, okay. prime, very good condition. Teeth is not worn down, so she's not, she's not a nine year old that's teeth is going down. So probably a five to seven okay. year old, mature female. Yeah, she was very, uh, very elusive. Yeah, I know. We, we, she gave us the run around. I mean, she's much lighter than a male. A male tend to be heavier and you can run them down quicker, which oh, okay. we found out yesterday is not that quick also. <laughs> but, um, you know, the females are quite, you know, they can, they can go for quite a while before they get tired, tired of being chased around and then they face you. Mm -hmm. So, um, but you know we were really lucky this morning. I mean, we didn't took her, didn't take us that long to get close to her. And um, again, you know, it's all about getting in position, get that first bullet in her, um, and you know, pull the handbrake up. Yeah. And from there on, we just had to go around and you know, finish it. Yeah, it was a heart pounding. Definitely. I mean, <laughs> you know, my mine was also. I, I think I, I. <laughs> Got a little bit excited there as well, <laughs> <laughs> so it was quite good. Yeah. Well, congratulations on your, thank on your you. African Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you and the whole team for helping me get this. I uh, came here. I'd never hunted big game before. I didn't really know what to expect. I, you know. Yeah. But it, yeah, it's ex exceeded all my expectations, I guess. Yep. Yeah, and I mean the trackers without Freddie and his team and Sam, I mean it just it was, it's impossible. Yep. You know, uh, those guys track track them through the grass, through the through the bush, and I mean, if it wasn't for that, there's no way that we would ever get close to a lion. Yeah, like this. and I'm I'm looking yeah. at it and wondering what are you guys following? Yeah, you know? yeah, and they yeah. just you know they don't say anything. You just follow them, and yep. the next moment there the lion is, and we just have yep. to believe. Even if we don't see, we have to believe. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Well, okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Beautiful lion. Thank you very much. Yeah.
you know, we've been at it for quite a long time now. Um, and there quite a, there's quite a strong wind that got up here and the trucks are just blown away. The sound is so soft and every truck that we take leads to an old truck. Um, you know, we either crossed it a couple of times before or, or something like that. So, you know, we just have to keep on trying trucks and trying trucks until we find the right truck. And with this kind of, this afternoon we had that little storm, that gust of wind, and it just blew away all the trucks. So unless that cat comes out and make us some new fresh trucks, then we're kind of dependent on that. Otherwise, you know, we just need a little bit of luck as well. But you've been going out and you know, every time we go out and it just doesn't happen. Right. <laughs> Just. The vehicle spotted the lion, so we've got fresh tracks that we're going to follow in the next five minutes. So hopefully we can find that lion. Looking forward to tracking that beast down. Yeah. We're hot on its trail now. A little bit of hope. Yeah. He was supposed to come down this road and she went straight through. And just as we were going on the fire, Ik zie nog mijn loop niet daar. Ik heb niet nou niet. Gaan ze beetje voor? Dat ik ga. Dat ik hem draai. Dat hem ga draai. Kan je? Under the chin. Reload. Right there. I still don't understand. <laughs> you see these? There's a little yellow. Yes. Get ready to shoot. He wants to get up. Just go below. His body is to the left of the head. Go below. You see the eight? Can you see the eight? Yeah, see him now. Don't shoot. don't shoot. Yeah, don't shoot. We want to go to the front. Pick up your gun. Pick up your gun. Stand for the stalker. Safety. Sa yeah, just safety. Yep. Yeah. You see? Under the eight. In the, just below the. Below and the what gun. way is his body, right? I see it. He's facing you. Okay, again, reload, reload. Shoot him again. Shoot him. Anyway, you missed that one. Can you have seen of me? Stay close to me. Okay. Okay, the last squad was not going to squad. He's a bite. Shoot him. Can you see him? Yeah. Don't, don't shoot in the head. Okay, now. But not in the head. I mean, you messing up your head. Okay, I think that's the head. And a cop. You're shooting it in the head. I didn't know. I, Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. Can you see the body to the left? Don't shoot in the head. You, you're messing up the head. Okay. Oh, there's nothing in there. Yeah, open up. But. Yeah, he's slow.
Okay, finished. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my is dirt, I only ask me. Each date is just uh, the muscle spasms. Yes. Yeah. Well, Mark, you know, we are sitting here with your, your lion. It took us, I, I've lost count, I think it's four days now. Yeah, four evenings. Four evenings, <laughs> four evenings to get him down. Um, we've been tracking and tracking and ran out of light a couple of times. Today the wind blew away his tracks and we just got lucky. Uh, we spotted his tracks, or that car actually spotted his tracks and spotted him and we had fresh tracks to go on. Um, and it was never easy. I mean, we had to run and drag <laughs> and, you know, we, you know, he just kept in front of us the whole time. And every time we see him, we just couldn't get a shot at him. Um, but you did well. I mean, you kept up and... Yeah, it uh, has been a wonderful experience. Uh, the lion won the first three rounds and I won the fourth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, I mean, it was, it was a really not an easy one. Um, well, it wasn't. Uh, we tracked it three evenings and basically ran out of daylight the first three evenings and we're very, very close to running out of daylight again today. Yep. But we got him. Yeah. Yeah, and when, you know, when we got him, we also, you know, he faced us again. You know, the first time that we've seen him facing us, you know, normally the only thing that we see from him is running away, running away. Yeah. And today he faced us and you got into his chest area, um, which he didn't like that much, and um, went into the bush a little bit again in the grass and we managed to get another shot in. And it was just exciting. <laughs> yes, it was. Uh, it was. It was very exciting. Yeah. Well, uh, congratulations and, you know, good shooting and, you know, you did well to stay with, you know, to stay with me, <laughs> with my long legs. Um, and I'm just, you know, I'm glad we got him, you know, for four days. Four I am innings. too. Thank you very much. Congratulations. All right. I just want to thank you guys uh, for coming to South Africa, to the Kalahari with me. Um, and each of you got a really nice lion. Um, you know, taking the time off of work, uh, off of your families, to come and support us here in the southern, southern point of South Africa. And um, to come and out with me. You know, I just appreciate all the, you know, the uh, time you took off and just, you know, spend some time with us. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very well, much. You're, you're, you're welcome. Here, here's the deal, Mr. Stefan. <laughs> you know, I started hunting with you in 2016. Yeah. And for that year, we shot a cage buffalo. Yeah. You got you got a sacred feather from the Lock Du Bois Indian <laughs> Nation. It is. And it, it's brought you good luck and good times, and we've been become pretty good friends, and it's yep. been a good deal. Yeah. So that year, you were you were the uh, uh, buffalo killer. Mm -hmm. And the following year we came and we hunted elephant, or uh, uh, three years ago we hunted elf yeah. elephants and we got ourselves a bull. Exciting hunt, that bull charge, that yeah. was exactly what you said it was going to be and we killed him. Yeah. Now this year we came, there's four of us who came, we, we lined up a deal and, and uh, you know that feathers worked pretty well. We got four lines, he said exactly what it was going to be, it was a great, great hunt, great experience. Yeah. Other than I didn't have to walk more than 200 yards to get my line. <laughs> the, guy wanted to get, the guy wanted to get in the car with us. And he ate us but, he, but everybody had a good time. So, oi oi! Oi oi! Lion killer! Lion, Lion killer! killer.